Hey, um, so I wanted to do a quick vlog before I get lazy and forget, and I'm like, I might as well do it. Why my hair? I just got it done today. Um, I was in very desperate need for a haircut. It was ridiculous. Um, this is similar to how I got it, it's just even shorter. Like, super duper duper short. Um, and so, yeah. I got very, very bored of the way I had my hair. I had my hair like that for the longest time. And I got tired of, like, every once in a while, oh, I'll cut it short, lay a layer shorter. And then finally got to the point where I'm like, I can't make it interesting anymore. So, and it had been bleached so much due to the blue not wanting to come out. So I was like, just cut it all off. So this is pretty much all unbleached hair, except for maybe way at the end. It's here. But all this is... Oh, it feels a million times better. Yeah, I will still say that, you know, there's nothing wrong with bleaching your hair and dyeing it a lot as long as you take care of it. But trust me, there there always is going to be a difference between your, you know, healthier, you know, non-bleached hair. Like, the color that I put in does not require bleaching. It still is going to do, you know, something. But, you know, my hair is, is happy. So, um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's exciting. Two colors. This, it's not black. You may look black on camera. Um, I wanted to do black, but black is just so hard to come back from. Black does not budge. Um, you, it takes a lot to bleach it. Like, my hair was red and black a while ago. It was red, this red on top. Which the red probably doesn't look as vibrant on the, in the video because of the lighting. But it's really bright. And then... This is like a dark purpley, reddish purple, so. But and when it was written black, I when I finally decided I wanted to change it and kind of bleach it out so I could dye it color, other colors, um, well, what, it just took forever to bleach out. And you can't, you know, you can't just go through and just bleach your hair white the first time. It just does not, unless you were already light blonde to begin with and you're just wanting to be like plat super platinum, you can't just like... That's why I will never bleach my hair on my own. You know, there are some people out there you guys can do it, and you guys don't mess up or whatever. But I've seen plenty of people out there who just don't, you know, who can mess it up, and I am one of those people. I would, not my hair, I would have no hair if I bleached my own hair. Um, that's why I go to a professional. It's a little more expensive, but it's better in the long run, because it won't kill my hair. Um, so... So, hopefully my hair, I got it shorter because, you know, I just wanted more of a dramatic cut and my hair grows so fast. And an asymmetrical haircut like this doesn't really look as good when your hair is longer. Um, as my hair started to get to this point and, you know, this part was like only a little, it just looked like someone forgot to lop off a part of it, you know. So, uh, but I am very content with it, I've never had my hair, you know, that short. And it's also kind of nice because I have my industrial done and I have a little Batman on it. But, you know, now people are going to see that more in my my tunnels and stuff. So, you know, I kind of like, you know, now I can probably decorate my ears and people will actually see it more. Um, so with this piercing, it is irritating me. Like, it's not hurting, but it's, like, it's kind of irritating. I've had it for maybe over six weeks now, um, and I need to just, I just need to get myself to my piercer and have him look at it. It's not so much that it's hurting, it's not swollen. The swelling has gone completely down, which is really annoying because the bar is really fl floppy. Um, it's like when you have a piercing and it's not quite healed all the way, but the swelling has gone down, but you have longer bar or whatever in it. It's like, it's like that. It's just annoying. It gets in the way. It's, you know... And, but it's goes from being wanting to be crusty, kind of getting a little crusty, to being fine. Um, I know I know it doesn't help if I bump it or something, but it's just been weird. It's not making up its mind. I think it's just taking a while to heal because it's not rejecting. It's not pushing. It's not moving. It's not getting th um, thinner, you know. Um, but it's not, I don't know, I think it's infected. I think it's just healing. I think I'm overthinking it because after it had it a few weeks, I went and asked because it was kind of pink around the entries and he said it's just healing so hopefully next week maybe I might go after Halloween or something after that's all done and have him look at it 
and because I really want to downsize it. It's a 14 gauge, and I think that's a bit big. Um, I want to go to a 16 or an 18. My friend has an eyebrow, and she has an 18 in it, and she likes that. Um, because essentially, this is just an eyebrow just under my eye. I think I've talked about it in the vlog, but yeah, I hope it doesn't reject because I want to look into getting a job, and it's one of those things like I can hide all the piercings I already have because they're healed. Um, but if I had to take this out, I'd have to give it a little time to kind of heal over and stuff and then get it repaired. Oh, there comes Fred. Hi, Fred. Um, but, so, it would just be kind of, ink. it would suck because I would, don't want to lose it. But, you know, it's it's not going to be the end of the world. If, if it rejects, I can get it repaired, you know. Um, but, it's just something I don't want to do because I don't want to end up, you know, if I get a job, I can't have facial piercings or they're the kind of places you could have this kind of piercing but you can't have this like I hate when people say you can have a nostril piercing but you can't have a lip piercing even if you wear jewelry that's just as tiny as in you know I have like the little bioflex retainer kind of things you get with a little gem on the end it's just as tight and you know noticeable as a nose stud but whatever um so yeah hopefully this hair works out um I got it two colors one because I think it looks cool and also because my Halloween costume, I'm going to be like a Frankenstein monster, something like sewn together, and I'm going to make a liquid, like I'll probably part my hair over, I'll tease it out, make it look a little messier. I'm going to put a, make a liquid latex piece, and I'm not going to put the liquid latex in my hair, but I'm going to take a piece and make it so it looks like my hair is of two different scalps, so we'll see how that goes. I am stressing mega about Halloween. Oh, like I do every year. I mean, hopefully my friends aren't going to badger me about helping them. I am going to help one friend in this because he doesn't know if he's going to have to work or not. I'm going to give him a special excuse that if he needs extra help, he'll get it just because I want him to be there. Otherwise, I'm helping friends kind of throw some costumes together real quick. Hopefully no one comes to me Tuesday. Sarah, I need something. It's like I am... Um, I tell my friends we can look through. I have tons of old Halloween clothes, you know, for in our higher house. They're welcome to look through that, but I don't need anyone coming to me like Tuesday evening. Ugh, so, if anyone does it, they're gonna have to help set up like hardcore. Like they're gonna. So, yeah. Um, my boyfriend's gonna go as Slender Man. I think he's gonna be the scariest one because Slender Man's creepy. Ah, uh, yeah. So, and he's gonna hopefully. I think he's gonna do it to conventions. So. We'll see. Um, so I'm going to end it here, and I will talk to you guys later. Um, so, yeah. Bye.